Hey everybody, Matthew Omic, and I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. And it's uh, it's Saturday here on the eve of Father's Day. We're having a nice drizzly rain, and I'm kind of happy about that. And I'll tell you why. So right now, <clears throat> corn is up. Everybody's doing side dressing. Everybody's addressing their nitrogen needs. But also, what's happening, and we're seeing this more and more, is cover cropping. Which, this is a field that we had some inner seeding done. Um, it's actually kind of, it's interesting because we, we air seeded it. And then a week later, 32% uh, was knifed in. In a lot of cases, some guys will do this at the same time. But that wasn't in this, in this case. But bear with me. So, the only question that gets asked to me is, how do I know when it's ready to go for inner seeding? What are some of the things I need to scout for? Because one thing I always talk about is soil condition. Soil condition, soil condition. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So this center seeding was applied a week ago. And you can see how this ground is. You know, it's got nooks, crannies. And you can see that the, the inner seeding is starting to, to show up, right? And it's the crimson clover and the brassicas that are roaring out ahead. Now, in a different tail, you can see this is where the tire tracks were. A lot more smoothed over, right? So what we see is, and if I can find my spot, which I can't, but I'm going to keep talking because that's what I do. When you get a crusting like this, and this is from lack of adequate rainfall and lots of heat and wind, and that dries this out. And then you get this hard crusting, right? Now, why that could be adversive for interseeding for adequate coverage and growth is some of these seeds, if they don't find at least three quarters of that seed being covered by dirt somehow, then they're at the mercy of whatever kind of moisture they get. And if it gets hot enough, they just don't get enough oomph. And you can see the difference right here. Here's one crimson clover seed not sprouting, but here's one that fell in a crack and is just starting to punch through. Same thing with this annual ryegrass right here. So that's why inner seedings are very important to get it on quite early so you can capture that moisture, so you can capture adequate soil texture. Because once it starts getting too crusty and hard, it gets really, really tough for that seed to, to punch through hard enough. And I wanted to try to find something here. Well, we'll just use this as an example. See what I mean? It doesn't take much. You can see I just flaked that right off. And even in my hands, it doesn't crumble too bad, right? Well, it's because it's raining. But if this was bone dry like it was yesterday, that's really tough. So, if you're, out, if you're thinking about interceding soon, I would do it soon. Because your window is going to run out here pretty quick. See how tall this corn is? This would be prime time. Especially if you could time it with a rain. But that's a tricky part too because you don't want to have a driving rain. Because when you have a smooth surface like this and you don't have any kind of cracks for that seed to nestle in, it's just gonna, it's just gonna pool up. It won't wash off the field, it'll just pool up. But even in those kind of conditions where I painted a very bleak picture, you can see that stuff is coming through. And that's because we acted sooner rather than later. But anyway, I thought that was just something I'd like to share in case you were curious about doing some interseeding, especially this upcoming week. And if you have any other questions, you just give our offices a call and we'll be happy to explore your options and to address those questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Enjoy your weekend.